Welcome to WOW News. Tonight, I interview a man who has been with WOW since its humble RTS beginnings, Uther the Lightbringer. Uther, tell us how WOW has managed to reach the massive following it has today. Gladly. Well, the popularity of the original three RTS games, not including expansion packs, has helped a lot. Okay, but our viewers want to know all about WOW. Some say it's just another RPG. Ah, this is the RPG that other companies try to emulate and surpass. So what would be the best class for someone who hasn't ever played the game to start off with? Well, it really depends on your style of play. If you prefer to blast your enemies or you prefer to slice and dice, the game's character creation bit has information on it that tells you each class's strengths and weaknesses. But for a first-time player, I would recommend a class that can cast spells that can heal yourself, such as a paladin, a shaman, a druid, or a priest. So what do you foresee coming up as the next big thing for a while? Well, as you know, the Cataclysm expansion is coming up. What's involved in this newest expansion? Um, the Horde and the Alliance have pretty much declared open war with one another. Also, there's the Cataclysm itself. The whole game is being revamped and redesigned in order to bring old WoW up to date with the WoW of today. What does that entail? Well, for some locations, it's just a retuning of the levels of the monsters and quests. Other areas, it involves completely smashing up the landscape and adding in or taking away some places in that area. Is there supposed to be a worldwide event to precede this like there was for the world for the Wrath of the Lich King expansion? Indeed, details aren't clear on this point, however, but there is going to be two major patches before the Cataclysm is released. So what's in these two patches? Well, patch 3.3.5 includes an all-new raid encounter as the Ruby Sanctum. This raid sees you defending the Ruby Dragon Shrine from an invading force in the Black Dragon Flight, which is the flight of Deathwing. So that sounds like it would be the one to have the world event popping in? Well, maybe. But then there's the patch which will take place just before Cataclysm is released. Patch 3.9 sees the Trolls of the Horde and the Gnomes of the Alliance taking back their rightful homes from their treacherous brethren. Vol'jin, the leader of the Dark Spear Trolls, will be trying to take back the Echo Isles from the treacherous voodoo priest Zelane and his army of mind-controlled trolls. Meanwhile, High Tinker Mechatork, leader of the Nomoragan Gnomes, will be reclaiming their city of Nomoragan from the traitor Mechjinir Thermoplug. You're making up these gnome names, aren't you? Nope, take a look at the screen. I'll be a monkey's uncle. You're right. Well, that's all the time we've got for you today. I'm Stephen Jeffers, and this is WOW News.